Hello, my friends. I just want to welcome you once again to our daily devotional and just to let you know what a blessing it is for us to be able to gather together as the brothers and sisters in Christ and share this time and hear what the Lord has placed on our hearts. So before we begin, let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Father, we just come before you and we're thanking you and praising you, Lord, for your mercies that are new every morning, for the blessings that you shower upon your children, Father. So we're asking now that uh, you would make your presence known to us, that we would know that you are with us, that you shall never leave us nor forsake us. In your most precious name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Well, I'm going to uh, talk with you a little bit today about having a blessed day. And I'm sure, if you're like me, that um, we all have that same desire. We want the Lord to bless us, to make our days days that are great blessings, and absolutely always so that he would be glorified. We know, though, also as Christians that uh, every day with the Lord is truly a blessing. However, there are specific things that, that we can do that will guide us and direct us and lead us into having that blessed day with him. And by the way, it's, it's really sort of like a no-brainer. The Lord doesn't need our help in order to shower his blessings down on us, but we're partners with him. And he wants us to be involved with him. He wants us to do our part so that he in turn can do his part. Well, one of the very first things that we do that can assure us and guide us into the blessings of our day is that we would start out our day you know, with the Lord. Even before um, we get out of bed in the morning, before our feet touch the ground, that we would be calling upon his name. We'd be calling upon the name of Jesus, that our uh, first awaking thought would be of Jesus Christ. Now, since I'm a visual person, I have these two index cards that I have on my nightstand with Bible verses on them. And more and more, and as the older and older I get, I need those constant reminders of me on things that um, I should be doing in my walk with him. So the very first one is my morning card. And the second one is my bedtime card. And each one of them has two different verses on them. So I'll start out uh, for you with my morning card. Psalm chapter five, verse three. This is such a precious verse to start out our day with the Lord. David calling out to his God and he says, my voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. I believe in that childlike way that there's nothing, nothing that blesses the Lord more when he hears from his kids the very first thing in the morning. Just as we do, you know, with our kids and our grandkids. If we're so blessed that we still have that special time where they tumble into our beds in the morning, may, may even greet us with a, one of those wet kisses with a good morning, mommy, daddy, good morning, grandma or grandpa, whatever the case may be, how we rejoice in just that simple, sweet little gesture. Well, God is no different. He wants us to do the very same thing to him. He wants us to welcome him and call out to him and, and, and welcome him with the good morning, Lord. We love you and we can, we can take that even a step further. And something that you often hear me say that I like to start out my mornings with is, Lord, what can I do for you today? And by the way, I also like to add to that, and whatever it is, Lord, make sure that you do it with me, because without you, I can do nothing. Do my day with me, Lord, is always my heart's desire. And when we have that kind of attitude, and when we approach the Lord that way, what a day of blessing that we're sure to have, no matter what the circumstances may be, because we do experience things that are, don't always feel like they're great blessings. 
we still will receive God's blessings. And then as the shadow of night falls upon our day, we should be preparing, we should be preparing ourselves for that sweet, sweet promise of sleep. So my second card that I have, the first verse that I'll share with you is from Psalm chapter four, verse eight. I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, you make me dwell in safety. Oh, what a blessed rest that there is for us just in that one verse. But wait, there's more. And where have we heard that before? In Psalm chapter 63, verse six, this is such a powerful verse, and I'd like to encourage you to listen to it as I read it, but take some time when you have that time and meditate on it and really delve into the meaning of what is being spoken here. Psalm 63, verse six, on my bed, I will remember you, Lord, and I will think of you throughout the night watches. How calming, how comforting to know First of all, that our God watches us even while we're sleeping. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. And during the night, he's preparing us for the day that's to follow, a day that will bring us great blessings that come from him. Yes, he is on our hearts, even in those night watches when we are sleeping. And while that's happening for us, we are being prepared for the next day. The next day when his blessings will surround us, we'll be surrounded by our Lord and our God. And so as I close, I would just like to give you, uh, mention a couple things that will bring you encouragement and hope. First of all, that you have a blessed day. And second of all, that tonight your sleep would be sleep sweet. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, Father, for how you have us so covered. Lord, you cover us with your wings. You surround us with your angels. <clears throat> Underneath are your everlasting arms. You know everywhere we, we are. You never leave us, nor will you ever forsake us. And we praise you for that, and we thank you. In your most precious name we pray, Lord. Amen. Goodbye, my friends, and, and God bless.